Hello everyone, Nick here, The Gaming Otter, and we're going to be discussing my response video, this is a response video, to SavJ. And first off, I want to say a couple of things before I get into this video. SavJ, I saw your video and I just wanted to reach out to you, and I wanted to make this video to talk about the things that I felt and go over some things about from my perspective so you kind of get understand a little bit more. Also, I want to throw out the disclaimer, do not attack anyone, do not do anything. If you want to tell your side of a story, it's fine, but do it in a more calm and rational manner. And that is one thing I do want to apologize for in the prior video. I was very rash, I was very angry, but I still, I still stand by things that I said. I still felt really upset, I still felt really hurt by the things that how Abdallah treated me, how the things went over the years, how I how I was treated, the things that I saw, those were all real. Those happened. And we're going to also go over things that Sabjay said and things I think Sabjay also kind of dismissed or didn't really talk about. So do I agree with Sabjay on the whole Relersify thing? Actually, after going through Tipster's video and discussing it with Tipster, I think Savjay is actually right. I think Velocify, the way he covered the topic, it is a bit sensationalized and he goes a bit overboard. Now, do I think Velocify has the right to talk about it? Yeah, no one can be silenced. I think that's a, a big takeaway from here. You know, everyone wants their privacy on the internet, and I wish that was a reality too. But the reality is, is like, people are going to talk about you, people are going to talk about me, people are going to talk about this guy and that guy and everybody else. And at the end of the day, whether we want to like it or not, you know, people are going to talk about us. And you can't sign NDAs or fire lawsuits expecting that no one's going to talk about you. Like, that's just, that's not how the real, the real world works. And I think the bigger you get on YouTube, you're just going to have to let things roll off your back. And this is a big problem that I see a lot of people want to control or, or have. And I think it's a thing that Savjay kind of didn't understand because he's just like, well, everyone just wants to cancel Abdallah. Okay, but what about the people that want to come forward and tell their experiences? So we have people that came forward about Sinpai or D1 or Kataro. So are they in the wrong because they canceled those people? You know? The canceling isn't because these people came forward, it's because of the badness of their actions. Now, do I agree that cancel culture is ridiculous and over the top? Absolutely. But there should be a middle ground. It's like, okay, someone shouldn't get off Scott easy. But at the same time, they shouldn't just get canceled. There should be a middle ground. Okay, you did some bad things, but, you know, instead of just getting completely punished and maybe there's some leeway, maybe we meet in the middle and we're like, okay, well, you have to be accountable for your actions. And I think that's a very big takeaway from this whole situation. So we're going to go into Savjay's video. <clears throat> so here, he claims that I doctored this image, that these two things did not exist. So I'm going to show him where these pictures are from, so that way I can clear this misconception. So this was from 2014's Paxi. So this was the first time I met Abdallah. And also, if we click on here, this is when I had breakfast with his wife and i met his wife on several occasions so savjay you're actually incorrect i did not doctor these images to make it look like i met them when i didn't because i actually did meet them so i want to clear that misconception up uh there's also another misconception and i want to go on the record of saying this first off i do not con condone abusive behavior i don't condone people being physically abusive, mentally abusive in any way. However, from what I saw, and I'll show it again in the video, he did get physical. He did grab Jess. And that is a thing that I do want to elaborate on. No, he was not abusive. And no, I, I don't think there's enough evidence to say that he is or isn't. And so we do have to look at the video at hand. Did he touch her? Yes, he did. Is that technically physical? Yeah, maybe not physical on the level of that he should. So I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that maybe I shouldn't have used that word. You know, physical was probably not the right word to use, but did I say abusive? No. And we're going to go through all of my tweets because you were very intent on going through all my tweets to put words in my mouth and say that I, I called him that, but I didn't. So let's go through that. So let's go back to your video. All right, here, now that's Tipster's video. Okay. 
So, all right, let's go through my tweets. All right, uh, where is it in your video? All right, I think it's here. Yep, uh, I want to mute it. Sorry. So, we'll just put it. So I asked, are you going to cover the Abdallah story? Okay. So let's put it on two times speed so we can just get through this. All right. Play. Okay, so I asked if you would cover. All right, so are you going to cover? Right. Okay, so I asked John Scarce, is he going to cover? Okay, is he planning on silencing people? That was a thing I think that's very important. I don't think you can silence people. Okay, you should cover. He did touch her. He did touch her, and I will show in the video, he did touch her. So, okay. All right, Sabjay, let's go through. You need to cover this. Fine. I asked people to cover it. Getting a divorce, got physical. Right. But did I say the word abusive? No, because he did touch her, but he didn't get abusive. All right. Okay, you need to cover this. Fine. So he's going through all my things. You should cover this. He got physical. Yeah, he touched her. Abdal got physical. Mm-hmm. Physical. 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 So let me get this straight, Sob J. Let me get this. Let me just say something straight to you. So if he touched her, that is technically physical. Now, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I shouldn't have used that word because it was probably a little overstep. But here's the thing. If you touch someone, that is physical. So, there, for example, there are contact sports and there are non-contact sports. And contact sports are very physical. And non-contact sports are not physical. So, But if you touch someone, that is technically getting physical. And if you say physically abusive, that has a completely different meaning than just being physical. So I want to go on the record for saying that, and I want to also say I never said that he did that in that video, nor did I confirm anything of that nature. Now, we will also get into Velocify's video, and I will agree with you, Savjay, I do think Velocify went overboard in his video. Now, does Velocify have the right to cover the situation? Absolutely. And you might not agree with his opinion, and you want to know something, Savjay? I actually don't agree how the way that Velocify handled the topic. I don't think he handled it with the gravitas that he should have. He definitely kind of sensationalized. He threw background music. He threw a lot of things in there. He kind of made it look a little too primped up in a certain way. And I think there is some validity in saying that part of the problem with the situation is maybe the way it was covered was a little too zhuzhed up for the audience. So I'll give you that. But I only said that he was physical as in he contacted her. Not that he was abusive. He was never abusive with her in that video, and I cannot confirm whether he is or not. And I will also go over some of my comments so we can get through that. So we're going to go back to your video. Uh, yeah, so can you check the video out? Twitter is a public space. If people want to ask questions, they're fully in their right to do so. Um, so unfortunately... It's one thing if I went onto his Discord and I started spamming his Discord. That would be overboard. But you want to know something, Savjay? After today, I'm not going to ask anybody, okay? So I'm not going to ask anyone about this matter. You know, we can put all this behind us. This situation happened. But I will say there is one caveat at the situation, and we're going to get to that in a little bit. So we're going to the breaking down, and we're going to watch that video, and... I didn't like how you sang the Scooby-Doo theme because it seemed like you trivialized the situation a bit. It seemed like you were just saying, oh, it's a spat, therefore don't pay attention. But I think there is an underlying aspect of the situation. And I'm going to play Tipster's video to show. Before Christmas would be great. Um, before Christmas would be amazing. Thank you. Okay, so he called, she called him a liar. He goes off screen to try to sell the situation. Personally, I think he should have ended the stream completely. It's probably not a great idea. All right. And we'll get into the physical part.
It's going to take a while, though, so mind you. So now Jess comes on camera. So he has her grabbed, and he did hold her. So he did get physical. Now, I did cover this in my video yesterday. I think he should have probably put his hands up. He probably should have de-escalated a little better. But he did technically get physical with his wife. Now, do I think Flirsify's video is kind of overly sensationalized? Absolutely. I definitely think Blursify probably shouldn't have covered it in the way it is. And you want to know what? Tipster has even said that Blursify is the I am Alex of the internet. And I'm not going to give him much pushback on that because I think a way, in a way, he's actually a thousand percent correct on that because Blursify tends to take stories and kind of zhuzh them up. And also, here's, a, here's an example how you know I'm not trying to cancel Abdal the way Velocify is in the attempt he is. I'm just trying to call Powder his behavior. If you watch it Velocify, it says, I believe this should be his career ending. So let's go to my video. Do I have mine lo located up? Oh, that was a smash one. No, I'm going to have to... Uh, okay. So... All right, so we're going to go to my video real quickly. So... I have to go to there. I should have had this preloaded, but I didn't, so I apologize. Okay, so here's my video. Okay, so I talk about my experiences with him. So let's read my description. Okay. I do not condone harassment, call light the action of the individual, and the personal experience that I had. Treat others with respect. So I didn't say I want his career ended. I didn't say... I want his career to... No, far from it. I think there should be a middle ground. I don't think he should be cancelled, but I think at the same time, I don't think he should get off easy without people calling forth, oh, what about the NDAs? Oh, why do you why do you sue people because you don't like what they're saying? It's like you can't... You have to let things roll off your back. And we can even get into my video where I say... Clearly, you did something wrong. And allegedly, people are saying you cheated. Allegedly. I said I'm allegedly. It out. Allegedly. But we don't know that for sure. But clearly, you did something that wronged her. And clearly, how you make promises to people, like you made promises to me, yeah. that's kind of how your behavior is. And I'm not surprised, honestly. If that's how you treat me and several other people I've been around, and that's how you probably treat your wife, yeah, you got a divorce, buddy. And honestly, I stand by that statement. Do I think it's a bit harsh? Absolutely. I definitely think it wasn't nice to say, but I think in a way it had to have been said because there are people that want to call light of his behavior. And I think this NDA's problem makes it so he can try to like sidestep, sidestep away from it. And I don't think that's acceptable. Uh, so Tipster did break down further in the video. You know, he does a great job. And I'll definitely link Tipster's video down below. Uh, the thing is, I think the reason why people should cover the story is because they should give their perspectives. And I think Tipster gives a fantastic perspective on the story. And I actually think he does a better job than Velocify. And I also think he actually does give some benefit of the doubt to the people that were treated horribly. I think this is the problem I have with your video, Savje. You don't acknowledge anyone that was mistreated in your video. You don't acknowledge anything that went wrong with how these people were treated. You're just like, Abdallah should get off Scott easy. He shouldn't, you know. What about those people? What about Jess? What if she comes forward? You you don't look into those things. And we're going to get into the NDAs and we're going to get into the, uh, the threats and situation. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to the twit longer. All right. So that was the video, but it's gone. So let's go to the attachment for the NDA. I have to open it up, unfortunately. All right. I don't think it's going to open up, open up, though. I'm going to have to probably... Uh, I'm going to have to add it through because I can definitely tell my X split's not going to. So forgive me. I'm going to have to, like, take this down for a moment and then add source. Screen capture, window capture, all right, here we go. There's the NDA. All right, so we're going to 
bump it up. All right, so we're going to go through this. So confidential, non-public information, documents, photographs, non-disclosure prior to written consent, terms and agreements and damages, uh, subject to monetary disciplinary action. This seems a bit overblown. And I know you don't agree with me, Savje, but I think we can have some common ground here that having people sign NDAs like this is very sus. I know you don't agree with cancel culture, and that's totally fine. I agree with you. I don't think cancel culture is acceptable. And you want to know what? Did my video go a bit over the top in my, my rashness? Yeah, I agree. I did get upset. But do I stand by how I feel? Absolutely. And do I stand by how Jess feels? Yes, I do. I think if Jess felt upset, she has the right to tell her story. And another big takeaway is, yes, you want to know something? Should she have bombarded his stream? No. No, he shouldn't have. But we're also going to get into something that's also very interesting. All right, so we're going to remove that, and we're going to add the Explore back. All right. Excuse me for... Uh, give me one second. I'm just... Oh, there's the twit longer. Okay. There we go. All right. So in my comments section, I did want to point this out because I thought this was very interesting. Da -da 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 -da. So there was someone who said they were in the Discord, and I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. So they said, I don't think you're telling both sides of the story. True, I'm telling my side of the story. Okay. I don't think this is going to become a big deal, but the first thing he should lose... Okay, that's a little over the top. I'm not going to agree with you there. I left his Discord too because I knew they would blindly defend him. Okay. So you have a comment regarding the Discord, and I definitely think Ms. So also has another point that I do kind of agree with. There are different kinds of abuse, including verbal, emotional, psychological. I'd say a man belittling his wife on a regular basis, using and manipulating others for his gain, cheating on his wife, all those qualify. A man can still be abusive in other ways, even if he's not always or never physical with others. Abuse comes in many forms. That's what the folks defending him don't get. If he's putting himself out there as a family-friendly creator, but not actually acting like one towards his own family. Then as a public figure, we have the right to know, especially those who've paid memberships like I did. So there are people that feel that Jess got wronged, and I can definitely agree with that. I can agree with Miss So that if they feel they want to question the situation, that it didn't rub the right way with them, I think they are in the right. And you know what? I understand. I get it. Abdallah wants to be private, I get how he wants to handle the situation, but at the same time, if someone feels this way, they are, are they're a hundred percent in their right to want to walk away from Abdallah, and that's ultimately that person's decision. Do I think that people making videos on the situation is the thing that's going to get Abdallah canceled? No, it's Abdallah's behavior that's going to get him canceled. Honestly, me bringing up my my situations. That's just my personal experience that I've had with him. And honestly, Sav J, I don't think people should be silenced if they've had ba bad experiences with Abdallah. They should fully be in their right to come out and say, I've had a bad experiences with him. These are the experiences I had. This is how he made me feel. This is how he treated me. This is how he talked to me. I didn't like that. And you want to know what, Sav J? There are two sides, if not maybe three sides to his story. You know, you've got the person... Abdallah, you've got the other person, how we treat it, and everybody around watching the situation. So even if you don't like what's being said about Abdallah, even if you don't like my video, even if you don't like Velocify's video, which I actually can agree with you on that, I don't think Velocify tackled the video in the correct way, and I will say this, I think it was very interesting how you thought I treated Velocify like gospel, just because I said preach. I was only agreeing that people, if people want to cover the story, they are in the right to do so. Now, do I agree with the way that Velocify covered the story? No. I don't think he covered it very well. I think he sensationalized it a lot. I think his intentions are very clear. And my intentions are to call out his behavior, okay? So, do I understand that probably tweeting around everywhere looks a bit weird? Yeah, I get it. But you want to know what? Tipster covered the story, and Tipster did not cancel Abdallah at all. 
Tipster just said his side of the story. If people want to say their side of the story, Savjay, is that wrong? And if your attempt is to have people not talk about it, then technically speaking, more people talking about it are just going to cause more people talking about it in the end of the day, correct? So we can agree with that as well. And if you want to reach out to me, I'm willing to talk to you about the situation. I'm willing to talk about my past experiences, how I felt, how he treated me. And you want to know something? Do I agree that the divorce situation, in a way, is completely separate in how he treated me? I would say no, because if he treated her terribly and he treated other people terribly, I think there is some merit on that. I think if someone gets treated, they carry that way through them for their li entire lives. If someone is a stone cold brick wall and they just walk through everything like they're emotionless, if I had a 12 year marriage, I would be in tears. I wouldn't want to go back on YouTube for a while. I would be distraught. You know, when I see that post and I see all those videos, I'm just like, oh, so you had a 12 year marriage. And that's how you looked at it. That's how it looks to me. Like, I just, I I would be upset. I would, I'd say, show a little emotion. Show some vulnerability. Yes, it's his private life. He doesn't have to show it if he doesn't want to. But if it happened on screen, everyone saw it. That's, a, you know, you can't, you can't make that private. You can't take that away from people. It already happened. So it's one thing if he was able to end the stream before, and maybe he could have curved it. But we saw what we saw. And so that's the ultimate downside of the situation is that people are going to say things that he might not like. Now, do I think people should sensationalize the story the way Velocify did? No, they probably shouldn't. That's that's honestly a bad idea. But do I think people that want to honestly and earnestly tell their story and they tell their personal experiences? I think people should. I think people are in the right, Sab J. I think people should tell their personal side of the story. And even if you want to pretend like, you don't believe my experiences. You don't believe in what I had to say. Okay, but what if other people come forward? This Who is this final spokesperson? This is the thing I do want to ask uh, personally to this final smokes. Can they come forward and reveal who they are? Were they a mod originally on their channel? Like, what is the validity of their claims? I actually am starting to wonder who final smokes is. It was interesting because in your video, Savjay, you claim... You claim, someone claims, not you actually, someone else claims that I know who they are. I don't. I don't know who Sabjay is. And I'll be upfront with you, I have never, I have never ever met Velocify. Never met a Velocify. Now, if you want to ask my personal opinion, have I talked to him? Yeah, I've talked to Velocify. Do I like Velocify as a person? No, I don't. Do I think Velocify has the right to make the videos that he wants to make? I think he has a right in having his opinion, but I don't think his opinion's right. And I definitely will agree with you. I don't think the way he covered the story is a great way. I think he needs to really pull it back a little bit if he was going to cover the topic and probably do it a bit more calmly. And I'll agree, I probably got a little heated when I ha handled that situation. But I stand by what I said. Because those were the experiences that I had with Abdallah, and they were terrible experiences, and I can definitely attest, if anyone asked me, I'd be like, I'd take it with a grain of salt if you were going to work with Abdallah. He's very taxing, he's very, very, like, da 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 da, -da on how he handles situations, and if, you, if you're if you okay with him, that's fine. I mean, if you like him, great. If you get along with Abdallah, that's wonderful. But if I want to tell my side of the story, Sabjay, I'm in my full right to and so is everybody else. And if more people come forward and more people want to tell their experiences, I think they're in the right to. And as much as I don't know who this final smokes person, if there is validity in their claims, and I think there is some validity, I mean, having people sign NDAs, uh, firing lawsuits because you don't like what people are saying about you, I think that's kind of ridiculous. You have to let people opinions about you roll off your backs whether you like it or not and yes i understand Velocify did the whole animal crossing cheating incident i actually covered that a while ago do i think abdallah's island should have get reported no no he shouldn't have now do i think that abdallah tried to weasel his way out of the situation yeah and he actually lied about 
the whole situation because he ended up playing it off that he didn't have the star trees on his island when in fact he actually did. So I think that's there's something to say about that. I think there's something to say about how his wife called him a liar, and I think there's something to say about this Twitlonger. Now, do I think this is do I think that this should cancel Abdallah? No, I don't think anyone should be canceled. But I think people's behaviors needed to be asked questions about. Why do you treat this way, people, Abdallah? Why do you make people sign NDAs? Why do you do this? Why? Why do you ask people to do this? You can't just hide and say, I don't want to talk about this. Well, what if people want to know? And what if people feel that because you are afraid and you're not vulnerable to get into the nitty gritty stuff that we, we know you are afraid to talk about, people are going to step away. People don't want to deal with someone who's like this all the time, and you can't talk about me, and if you say anything bad about me, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and you need to get on my Discord. No, you can't do that. You have to be open about certain things when people are asking questions. And even if you want things to be private, you know what? Your your spat happened on live stream, and I understand you want your privacy. Everyone wants their privacy, but when things like that happen, sometimes you need to come forward, whether you like it or not. And if you don't, people are going to start saying things. And if you don't want to address this situation, people are going to say things whether you like it or not. And if you don't want to talk about it, okay, well, then people are going to go say things. But that doesn't mean you can you can fire lawsuits to basically silence people. You can't do that. That's censorship. And people are going to look at you like you're censoring people. And while do I think Blursify is videos in the right? No, I think he should have redone that video, personally. I think he should have just calmly said, you know, he does grab her, she does call him a liar, but this is the only thing that happened. It was a fight, and that's it. Now, do I think there is something to be said about Abdallah's behavior? Absolutely. I think people should have things to say about his behavior. I think people are probably upset with how they've been treated by him, and I think they're in their full right, Sabjay. They are in their full right to say how they felt. So whether you like it or not, Sabjay, People get upset because they get treated terribly, and if people can't come forward about Abdallah, then people shouldn't come forward about Senpai, or people shouldn't come forward about KT, or people should... It works all all around, Sabjay, is my point. Is whether you like it or not, you don't want people to get canceled. Okay, but can we at least agree that people should be called out when they treat people terribly? I think we can agree with that. Now, if you want to contact me, I can set up something through Twitter or Discord, and we can discuss it, and we can go through there, and we can talk about how I felt and how he treated me and how I had to step away from him. And it was really traumatic for me. It was toxic. And I just want people to be informed that if they work with Abdallah, that there are some things they should know first. There are some things that, that might be unpleasant, but they should know. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Savjay. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't give the response you quite wanted, but I do want, I wanted to get my point across. And Tipster, thank you so much for covering the story. I know it wasn't something that you generally want to cover, and I understand that, you know, you said that your opinion wasn't quite what I wanted, but that's fine, Tipster, because I appreciate that you give an objective opinion. And I agree. I think Velocify went way too overboard in his opinion. Now, do I think Velocify can cover topics? Yeah. Do I think covering opinionated topics without much fact is a good idea? No. But if you have a personal experience with someone, then you are in your full right to say something. Now, Velocify, from what I know, has not met Abdallah, from what I know. And from what I know and I can tell you, I've never met Velocify at all. So, and no, I don't plan on being friends with Velocify. I don't really like his content. I think he's kind of ridiculous. Now, do I think he's in a right to talk about it? Yeah, it's freedom of speech if people want to talk about it. Now, do I think that the way he talked about it was a good idea? No, I don't think he did a great idea with this video. And I do agree that some of the ways that he covers other topics aren't great either. But at the end of the day, we have to be careful about our freedom of speech, and we have to allow discussion. We have to allow people to talk about the situation. And Savjay, you're as welcome to say what you want, but I'm also as welcome to say what I want too. So we have to remember that we have to have this open discussion so that way we can get to the bottom of things. Because if people can't talk about things, then you just have people pointing fingers at every, everyone and no one can say anything. So I hope you reach out to me. Um, 
I know this video has gone long enough. This has been like half an hour, I can see. I hope everyone listened to what I have to say and take it with a grain of salt. And if people want to come forward, that is totally in the right. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.